Well, I believe that successful restorations depend on the planning of the implants from the beginning. Meaning that if you place the implants according to the uh, prosthetically driven treatment plan, uh, exactly meaning that you have placed the implants exactly at the same place where the previous truth was placed, that will, uh, uh, that will dictate the future success of the implants. Meaning that if you place the implants according to the prosthetically driven uh, treatment plan, surgical stent, or according to the uh, uh, prosthodontist's desire where to place the implants, that will uh, dictate the future placement for the implants, meaning that the patient will have to maintain it very well. Doctor on office maintenance also will help you to uh, uh, make the implants survive and successful restoration in the future. Well, digital dentistry nowadays is uh, going very fast, actually, and I have seen it, uh, the transition in the last 10 years and with the future 10 years. Uh, all this technology helping the patients, saving time, saving chair side, chair side time, actually, for the patients, make it easy for the patients, less surgical time, less pain for the patients. All this helps on uh, uh, giving advanced treatments and uh, finest treatment to the patients, actually. This is how I see digital, digital technology actually helping the patients to get uh, uh, implants or restorations in a much more easier way. Well, I use the digital uh, dentistry uh, in the implants specifically uh, in, in the two parts, which is the surgical and prosthetic part. I use with the surgical part using this guided implants uh, placements, and with the surgical with the restorative part, I use the CAT CAM uh, technology to design my final restorations. Both technique actually is, is simple and easy, and give me save more time, a lot of time in order to install the final restoration for the patients. This is how I use. It. Well, uh, Xenograft is, uh, uh, is a long-standing material. It's uh, very rigid. <clears throat> I use it when I need to have a long-term uh, period of time, or uh, when I use it when there is a surgery, I'm not going to go and reopen it again. For example, I use Xenograft, for example, in the sinus, um, grafting with the implants at the same time. Uh, cases where I, where I don't have to go and reopen again. Uh, while I use allograft uh, in the cases that, for example, socket preservations, I use it because it's fragile material where I will have to go there again in uh, uh, two to three months, basically. Uh, socket preservation, I use allo FDBA or, or allograft where I have to place up the implants uh, for a faster time. If I use a xenograft in a socket preservation, it's going to take a long time in order to have a native rigid bone where you can replace your implants uh, successfully and have initial stability successfully. So there is a big comparison between two materials. One of them is fragile, basically, and one of them is rigid. Bottom line, uh, it depends on the procedure they're going to perform and when you're going to re-entry or there is no re-entry, that's when I will choose the, the, uh, the right material for it.